What's up YouTube? In this episode, I'm going to show you how to get the first Ultra Beat. Uh, this is part 40. Alright, um, so basically you got to beat the uh, Pokemon League first and you'll go back to your uh, house. Now, after coming out of your room, you talk to Hal for a while about a couple of things and then this old man will just walk out of the house and this old man will come up to you and give you the uh, Enigma card. Now, what that is, um, Enigmatic card, sorry. Um, it'll tell you basically to go to Route 8 in a, a, like a hotel or a motel thing. So um, you need to go there to trigger the Ultra Beast mission. Now, once I said, uh, it would be handy to have something like a Pokemon with False Swipe too. Um, definitely consider that one because that's a very good move for catching Pokemon. What it does is it just drops you uh, the opposing Pokemon down to one health and you can keep hitting it and it doesn't die. Alright, so we're on Route 8. Now, you want to go left of the Pokemon Center there and you'll go into like a little room. So, I did actually had to do this first, but I did a couple of cuts there, like, you know, wild encounter battles and things like that, or trainers. So, there's a couple of little cuts in here. I had to do this bit uh, post com but the, uh, the actual catching of the beast I did live. Um, all right, so you want to go into this door here, the, this green door here, and just open that, and you'll straight away uh, see uh, Looker. Now, um, that's pretty cool. He's back, and you'll have some, like, just some dialogue here. Basically, what they're asking you is if you want to. You know, if you're going to, if you know about the Ultra Beast and that, those sort of things. Um, his music's really cool too. Um, you should definitely uh, listen to that one. Now, uh, you actually have to have a battle too because, they're, you know, they're trying to find a strong trainer. Uh, so you'll, you won't battle against Looker, you'll battle against this person here. Um, so just make sure your Pokemon are healed up too. Um, that's the sort of, you're just going to have a battle there. Um, that's pretty much it before you can do anything. Um, now, the Ultra Beast will be appearing at 55, so you need to have, like, decent Pokemon. It should be alright just after the Elite Four, but, um, I know they do get increasingly harder, um, afterwards. Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of dialogue here, sorry about that. But, yeah, they're just telling, they're just going on about the Beast. But you have to verse Annabelle in a battle, because they want to, you know, they want to have the League Champion to help them with their mission, basically. And they're, they're saying, like, when the wormhole got opened... Um, you know, all the Ultra Beasts basically got uh, this let loose everywhere. Okay. I think we're nearly there with the, uh, the <laughs> with the dialogue. Okay. Yes, but, um, anyways, so you want a, d a decent Pokemon, you want one, with, with one with false swipe, and also, when you do this, you're gonna get given a certain, like, obviously, a certain type of balls, will, only a certain type of balls will work on them, so you can't just use Ultra Balls and Pokeballs, you have to use something called a Beast Ball, um, we'll get more to that in a sec. Okay. Now, um, basically, now we're getting uh, asked to join our team. Then you go, sure. And then she's pretty happy about that. But before you can do that, as I said, you need to um, burst her in a battle. It's just lots of dialogue here, unfortunately. Yeah, so you kind of have to prove yourself before you uh, you have a, um, just go to on this mission. Okay, you can either save here. You don't go right into the battle. You can, you can, you can do whatever you like. You don't have to do it right now. But if you want to... Um, which is, I want to, I'm just going to check my Pokemon if they're even healed up. Yeah, they're fine. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you want to go do other things first, you can. Uh, that's fine. If you want to train up a bit or whatever. But all of the Pokemon are in the 60s. So all low, very low 60s. I think they're all level 61. Okay, let's, let's boogie. Okay. Um, what have I, what was else I was going to, I was trying to think of something else. It was important. But yeah, as long as you have a Pokemon with False Swipe, it'll be handy. I'm not really sure what happens if you miss the Pokemon with the Beast Balls, because you only get a certain amount, but I'll get into that anyway. All right, so she's got an Alakazam as her first Pokemon. Uh, like I said, you can't avoid doing this. You have to do this battle. Okay, it's level 61. Now, I've got I've got Faint Attack on this, so I'm going to do that um, on that one there. I don't have any Z power or anything for it, but... Uh, it's level 61, so it's quite a it's quite a lot higher than me. Okay, so I'm going to tank that one very, very badly there. And get a special defense drop. Uh, faint attack, there's loads, but it doesn't take it out, which sucks there. Okay, um, I could let it die, or I could swap something else in. Uh, actually, I'm just going to swap into Muck here, because Muck's a, uh, you know, it's now, the Alola Muck is now Dark, so I can swap into that and then finish it off with that. That's, the, you know, that's the best time. I really do like a Alola Muck. It's one of my uh, very favorite Alola Pokemon. Okay, I can just use anything here, like uh, Knock Off or whatever. Let's just go Knock Off, Crunch, anything. It's not going to matter. Oh, wow, here's, fo here's Focus Blast. 
I really like that animation. That's cool. Uh, looks even better than the other one. Not that I'm going to be seeing that animation very much. Okay, that's, uh, that's Alakazam down there. That's good. Got a couple of other Pokemon to go. Then we can actually get into catching the thing. So if, if, if you already know what's happening in this battle and you just want to get straight to the Pokemon, you can uh, just skip head, head forward. Um, I'm just showing you if people don't you know, know what to do. Okay, level 61. This is pretty good. I'm going to go for Crunch here. Uh, the Miss Magis has got Thunderbolt there, so I'm not going to die to that, but I just live that and get the Crunch off, which is nice. Now, that just misses the kill there again, but I actually get a uh, Poison Touch here from the Muck, which is really good, because that's going to be enough to take out the Miss Magius, which is nice. So you're pretty much just proving yourself that you can handle the Ultra Beast, I guess, in the stories, uh, you know, sort of demanding that of you. Okay, level 55, that's good. Oh, we're gonna, oh, yeah, I'm going to teach that Brave Bird. That's good. Forget an old move. We'll get rid of Pluck because that's no good. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so we got Brave Bird. Cool. Level 57 for Wishy Washy 2. But yeah, I'm um, catching these Ultra Beasts. I've been like looking some stuff up and everything. Yeah, you need to have quite high levels. So, yeah, it's... it's uh, you might have to do a bit of extra training. I, I don't know. Just, or maybe go for the Elite Four again or whatever. Okay, so bringing in... Uh, Ooh, we have the Snorlax here, so I need to take this out with my Z move. Oh, this is pretty good for it. Um, let's go to the Z power and close combat. Okay, Snorlax is level 61 too. Unfortunately, I actually missed out getting the uh, signature move on this thing because I apparently leveled it up too much before evolving, but I didn't even know that. So um, that was that. I think I said it. It was that. It was that. Uh, it was that Ice Hammer or something. I forgot. I think it was Ice Hammer. I've, I've seen it in the Elite Four. Anyway, so we're going to go for uh, the Snorlax and punch the absolute crap out of it. And uh, that's the Snorlax. We're going to definitely die to that one. So that's good. Okay, so we've got two more Pokemon left here. And then we can get on to the little mission. Alright. That's Snorlax down. Now, the other ones I have a more of idea to do. So I'll probably be doing them live. It's just this little bit. I, did, I didn't know 100% what to do. Okay, so we have a Salamance here. Level 61. Now, you can actually catch a very low level Salamance. I may do a couple of videos on those ones. They have a very low chance of finding them. Okay, um, I went for Ice Punch here. But it's going to have Zen Headbutt. Um, I didn't really want to swap much into a Salamance anyways. Okay, that's, that's down. Um, I could just bring in Luna Lara and Lu use Dazzling Gleam. That could work too. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'll just do that. Okay, so I just want to get through this battle. So this is... Actually, this is my highest Pokemon. Well, near, I think my other ones are very, very close to it. Okay, Dragon Claw. Not going to do very much. Now, this this thing is going to be quite strong in competitive too, but I don't think... Um, you know, it, it, does have, it does have a lot of key weaknesses there. And the multi scale, the, the multi scale like ability is very good. Okay, I'm going for the second dazzling gleam here. That's going to take out the Salamance. All right, one more Pokemon to go, then we can actually get into this damn catching thing. Um, you don't have to do this every time for all of them. It's just, I think it's just an initial phase and stuff. Okay, Weavile, I can just swap into any. I'll just go to swap into Mudsdale there and use Heavy Slam on it. That'll probably be my best go there. Now I will put a couple more of these up. Probably a little bit regularly. I've been doing some other things. I actually felt quite tired lately because I did a lot of a lot of the episodes and stuff before that. So uh, yeah, I'll try and get some more of these up uh, now. All right, uh, let's go for the heavy slam, night slash. That's not going to do very much unless I get critted. Nope, that's cool. And I've got a stamina boost up. Easy. Okay, this should do some heavy damage. To what the hell's with? Seriously, we're like, what's the hells with Pokemon surviving on, like, one health? It's, it's crazy. Okay, so uh, another Night Slash here, and I'm going to be able to take out the Weavile now. Okay, another Stamina Boost, which doesn't even matter, really. I'm just going to finish off with a Double Kick. Okay, so finally this battle's done, and now we're going to get onto it. Um, I'm just going to give you the step-by-step -step where to go and everything, and to find this. All right, level 54. Oh, it's a bit slow doing all this before it, but that's how it is, I guess. I, I guess it's more experience. They're giving you a little bit more, uh, so you're ready for the Ultra Beast, I guess. Okay. Thank you. I believe the testing is complete. I believe it is too. No, I see no problem with all your skills. Rather, I would praise you for them. I hope that we will do fine work together. Okay, what's Luca going to say now? All right. There's no, uh, there's no time to waste. I agree. Okay, so we need to go to the Aether Paradise. So what we need to do is we need to go outside now and we need to fly on the Charizard. And it's telling you who to see in there. Um, you need to see uh, 
with Mrs. Wick or whatever, Wiki or Wick or whatever it is. Okay, so we need to go outside to the Eighth Foundation now. Just make sure you're you've got I don't know. Make sure you've got all your Pokemon healed and stuff. I actually didn't heal my Pokemon before I went into this battle thing, so uh, <laughs> make sure you do that. And uh, yeah, you just got to go on the Charizard. Oops, I, di I didn't actually mean to do that. All right, let's get to it. Sorry, guys. There's so much freaking dialogue. It's annoying me. All right, I'll bring up the. Just want to check if I got all this stuff. Okay, so I, that that was me. That so that was where I was checking where my Pokemon weren't here. I was like, oh, whoops. Okay, so let's go into Charizard Glide here and get to it. Now the the Athens really easy easy to find. You, you just keep it's, on the map. You just scroll across on the um, islands there, and it'll be the only one that's like, like by itself. Um, let's see, just click on there. And it's easy to find. I'm still I'm still like learning all the locations on the island. I'm a little bit rusty with that sort of thing. Okay, so when we fly there, we'll be like directly out the front too, and we can just go straight in and get into it. All right, so what you want to do is when you get there, just like run, run straight in, and you just want to keep going uh, right up and into the elevator. Okay, let's do it. Now, um, what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah, you get a couple of items in here too, which is quite good. Some some, some items I didn't realize you could get. Uh, well, I didn't know you could get, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so go to the lab area, and that'll just bring you down there. Okay, um, I, th I wasn't sure where to go. I thought it was like, there was, I think there was like a door or something, or I, I don't know what I was doing. Um, I was trying to find where the actual door was, but then she was over here. Okay, so she have uh, the purple hair. This is Wiki. Um... All right, basically, she's going to go on a bunch of, about a whole bunch of crap, really. Um, if you want to read that, you can. I don't I don't really... I've already read through that already. Um, it's just a whole bunch of dialogue. But we want to get into catching the, uh, like, the Ultra Beast here. Okay. Um, just select one of those options there. It doesn't really matter which one you do. The, in this game, like, the text just flows on anyway, regardless of what you pick. Okay. Stop talking. <laughs> So there's a that's just a whole lot of you know the backstory and stuff you, you might want to hear. Okay, so you get a a big ma malasada, and I think she gives you a, yeah she gives you another one too. So that's uh that's pretty cool. So you get both of them from her. I'll be returning to the secret lab B. So you need to follow her to the secret lab B. Okay, so just go through. You want to go through the door that she just like went in. That's the next bit you need to go in. I was actually just uh. I think I was eating lunch or something while I was doing this. Okay, so just run down here and go in the first door here into there. Now, uh, talk to this lady here. Um, this may be a bit sudden, um, but she'll give start giving you all these items. She'll give you the DNA splices, which is cool. Um, she'll give you the pris prison bottle, which is cool. And I think she'll, gi she'll give you the soldier as well. So that's for the lattes. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. And that's really all you have to do in this room. I mean, you can have an explanation of these, but we, like most people already know what they do. So, um, yeah, we, we don't need to hear any of that. Okay, so now we need to we need to get out of here and we need to run down to the right. Okay. So running down here. There's probably like a Zygarde core around here. I, I, I think I already picked it up. Okay, so go into the lab here and you want to go talk to her. All right. Oh, yes, the matter of the you, you beasts. Okay, she'll give you uh, 10 beast balls. Now, as I was explaining, th these are really, these look really cool too. So, these 10 beast balls you'll get. So, there's no real guarantee that they're going to be a 100% catch. And you ask her, you know, you ask her about it and you tell you what they're for. And they're obviously, they're, they're apparently, they're very expensive. So, they can't go on like, you know, the wide market production. Um, so, you're, you so, you're sort of getting a very special uh, thing. And uh, you'll need to go back to the hotel now. That's where you uh, first mess, uh, met Looker and stuff. And that's um, yeah, that that's really much where the uh, mission starts. Okay, now with these beast balls, they, they do, do give a hint saying you need to use them at the right time. So it's not... well, From what I can gather from that, it's not a 100% catch, right? So definitely have something to I'm, I'm not i'm not sure what happens if you waste them like are you gonna can you get some more or i don't really know um so if someone knows about that they can leave it in the comment section i'm not really sure but uh yeah I, d I don't know like does that mean you can never catch them again i'm not really sure but uh anyways let's do it 
Let's go back to the entrance here. All right. Okay, we're going back to the entrance. There's long transitions for everything. Okay. Now we want to go on uh, back on the Charizard and uh, Charizard Glide, and we want to go back to Route 8, just where we went uh, before. Um, I, I do like the... I do like the idea of the mini map too. It's uh, it's uh, it's cool. I like how they've done it with all the islands. All right, so we want to fly back to Route Eight, which exactly where you went before. So that's basically all the running around and crap you have to do. Um, you know, then you can get like straight onto it for, for this Pokemon anyway. Okay. All right, so we're going back to same place where we were before in the green door, running through here. I still don't get the pressing A on the door thing. I just don't get it. Okay, so you'll go back here. Annabelle will be in here. Looker won't be in here, though. Um, that watermelon bag. Okay, so Looker just burst in, like, right after you come in there. And uh, apparently there's some sort of emergency. Okay. So they've re reported sightings of UB01. That's basically... And then you have, a, like, a UB01 symbiont mission start come up on the screen. Um, so you have some really cool music, too. Um crank the sound and listen to that okay so my task is to protect the populated areas da 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 okay they're just talking a whole bunch of dialogue but they will tell you like where to go and stuff uh, they'll give you a clue where to go but I'm going to show you where to go anyway so it doesn't really matter but uh, they they will do that anyway okay she'll be going on ahead so much fucking dialogue all right. Um, yeah, I'm doing these episodes. Uh, me and Kath are doing the legendary uh, and UV beasts um, by ourselves as well. Just want to do them on our own one. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get to it anyway. So you can actually talk to the dude again, and he can tell you like a whole bunch. Uh, look at you can tell like a whole bunch of information too if you really want to go up and figure all that out. Now here, I, I, at this point in time, I think I was eating a sandwich or something. <laughs> So I apologize for that. Okay, and let's talk to him. So when you talk to him, these options will come up. We'll tell you about the beast balls, um, those sort of things. So that's for there whenever you need to do it. All right, now we need to go um, and actually catch the UBB. So sorry this took so long, but that's all the crap you had to do. Okay, so we want to get on our Charizard Glide again. Now we want to go to the, uh, like, the, you know, the place, um, the vo like the volcano place where you did one of the trials, like around there. That's where we want to go to, right? Um, there's, a there's a couple of uh, bits of the map that I haven't actually explored yet and stuff. I haven't done, like, lots and lots of this game. It, like, recording it all and stuff has slowed me down. Okay, so we want to go here. Let's fly right there. The you can see on the mini-map where I flew anyway, so that's just in the, um, you know, that's the little right um, box in the corner there. Okay, now we're here. We need to get there. Uh, so we're on Route 7 now. Just run that way uh, to the left of that dude. I mean, you can have repels on if you want. There's only a bit of grass here. Now, there are a couple of trainers here, so you may have to verse a couple. They're not very hard or anything. They're just more of a nuisance than uh, that. I did I did, cut, I did, actually go into a couple of uh, battles and trainers, but I did cut all them out just so it wouldn't be so long. Okay, if you're just wondering why there's a couple of little cuts. Okay, um, so just running through here. Um, I think, yeah, I just had a couple of wild encounters. I just cut it. Oops. So I uh, just go up here. I think I went the wrong way there. Running through the grass. Okay. I think I've already battled this trainer. But you can just run around the back of them if you haven't battled them already. So, uh, go up here. And you want to go in that little cave section. There. You can't get that Pokeball at the moment. Um, you need to go around to get that. Alright, so you'll pop out here. Now, you need to just keep running along there, along the left. Uh, well of Volcano Park. Just keep going down here. Now, there'll be like all these little things. You just jump down. Just keep jumping down them. And, and stuff like that. And there'll be like a little cave section uh, at the end. I like the volcano. It looks really cool. Okay, so you see the little cave there to the right. You need to actually run in there. You, you can run to the left and have a little bit more of an angle of it if you like. So just run in there. Okay, so when you pop out of here, um, you should just run into the grass section there and it will appear. So it didn't appear for the first time for me. Maybe because I ran in the wrong section of grass. I don't really know, but I just ran into the grass and had a a, a, a battle. But I, I thought that's you know that's where you had to do it. So uh, so just run in the patch of grass and you will find it, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, um, there's a TM there if you want to get that too, but whatever. So I just ran in this patch of grass here, um, running around trying to find the freaking thing because that's apparently where you need to find it. Um, and then you'll go into a battle here. Now, this wasn't... Uh, I didn't get it the first time. I found a, a, a Salandit the first time. So I only, I only found one um, wild encounter of Pokemon. Then I found my uh, legendary beast. So I just, just run around until you find it, I guess. And that's all I can say. All right. Now, we're just going to keep running around until we actually find it. Okay, so uh, we finally uh, bumped into this. Now, um, let's get to it. So we got, it's at level 55, so same level as me. So I really need to uh, weaken this down a lot. I've actually got to use that, oh crap. I've got to use some of the um, potions to bring back my Pokemon too. Okay, so going for Leaf, oh fuck. Oh, wow. That was so lucky. Okay, let's go for, I'm not sure if that's on... Like one health, but I'm gonna go for fight a false swipe anyway. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to live this one, and then I can um, throw a beast ball at it. Okay, going for false swipe. Okay, there's a little. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Now, where's the beast ball in the bag? It should be under balls. Okay, there's the beast ball. We've only got 10 of these, so you've got to watch when you use them. So, say, use them when they're on the lowest amount of health. Um, False Wipe is very handy there. Wow, that ball looks so cool. That looks awesome. There we go. It's captured. So, gee, that was... I just got very lucky with my crit on Leaf Blade then, and then uh, False Wipe was able to uh, just put it in the range where I needed to put it. Awesome. Okay, um, that that's it. Cool. Uh, cool. So, uh, Ni Eligo's data was added to the Pokedex. Let's have a let's have a look at this. Damn, that's cool. All right, registered. Okay, so I'm going to be putting some um, you know, some some more videos up about uh, getting all these Ultra Beasts too. This is only the first one that I needed, but uh, yeah, that, that that's that's the um, I'm just gonna send that to a, send that to a box. I don't need that one at the moment. But yeah, that's how you get uh, the first Ultra Beast. But I'm going to be going through and um, you know doing all of them. So I hope you guys stick around for those ones, and I hope this helped out. Peace out.